Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Be encouraged. Listen, God, I believe, is leading me to Deuteronomy 28, just two verses, one and two. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, Pat's two cents for a second. Sometimes when we're going through a real trial and it seems like there's an onslaught, we want to take things into our own hands, now don't we? We want to tell people off, cuss them out. We want to uh, stab them back, so to speak. We want to retaliate in every way, shape, and form. Even if it means we come out on the losing end just to make a point. Don't you dare. You leave this to God. You may feel like you're, you're looking kind of sorry in, in the public's eye right now. But God's going to make you come out smelling like a rose. But you got to do it his way. You got to be still and know that he's God. Now, he'll tell you what to do. He's not going to leave you with no answers. You know, he's not going to leave you groping around in the dark. He's going to turn some light on, and, and you're going to get some help. But listen, what you don't realize is that God does some of the most, how can I say, he works some of the most mysterious miracles in the dark, undercover, where no one else can fathom what he's doing. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in the way. I'm getting all kind of scripture popping in my head right now. Wait, I say, on the Lord. If you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. Wait patiently for him. Okay, wow, that was something. <laughs> I know it looks like, you know, what she sitting there looking goofy for because I'm waiting to see what else the Lord is going to tell me to say. Psalms 24. Let's go there. Open your Bible to Psalms 24. I hope you're getting encouraged by this because... When God is trying to really get across to you some encouragement, you better listen. You can take what he says to the bank. All right. Now, let's see. Psalms 24. Ooh. See, this is the Lord putting everything in perspective. You know, you're looking at the enemy like the big, bad boogeyman and the longer you look at him the bigger he grows and the, and the stronger he oh my goodness you're looking at him and it's just oh okay fret not listen this is what God says about your enemy and about everything pertaining to this little nonsense listen the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, including that boogeyman, as Pat's two cents, including that boogeyman. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, verse three, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean 
hands. Pat's two cents. I got to interject this because it just popped in my head. Don't foul things up. Not now. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness. From the God of his salvation. Mm, mm, mm. This is the generation of them that seek him. That seek thy face. O Jacob. Lift up your heads. O ye gates and be ye lifted up. Ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. Now, if you want to know who's in control, yeah, there you go.